Light is one of the most common things in the universe. It is also one of the most perplexing. It's always the same speed in a vacuum, no matter the velocity of the observer. Its speed is the universal speed limit in our space and time. And it is both a wave and a particle simultaneously. That is, until we try to measure it. What does this even mean? How can something be two different things simultaneously? First, we're going to talk about the wave properties of light. Stay tuned. Isaac Newton discovered that sunlight passed through a prism produces a rainbow. Because light creates patterns like this, light is described as traveling in waves. The rainbow is produced because each color has a different wavelength. Red light has a longer wavelength than blue light. The wavelength is the distance between two successive peaks. For light, wavelength is measured in billionths of a meter. The difference between red and blue light is only one thing, the wavelength. Red light is 665 nanometers and blue light is 425 nanometers. Another property we can measure is frequency. Frequency is how often a wave passes a given point. The red wave has a lower frequency than the blue wave. Frequency and wavelength are related mathematically. Higher frequency equals smaller wavelength. More precisely, the wave equation is the following. Wavelength times frequency is equal to the velocity of the wave. The velocity in this case is the velocity of light, c, and it is the fastest thing in the universe, according to Einstein's theory of relativity. It is a constant for all observers. 300,000 kilometers per second, or 186,000 miles per second. C is very fast. You could go around the Earth's equator seven and a half times in one second. Remember though, distances in space are vast. Even light is slow when it comes to interstellar distances. Welcome to the observatory. What can I show you? We're supposed to land soon. <laughs> I'm... I'm the only one awake. I don't understand. What can I show you? Show me Homestead 2. Homestead 2 is the fourth planet in the Bhakti system. Right. And where are we? We're in transit from Earth to Homestead 2. We will arrive in approximately 90 years. What? We arrive at Homestead 2 in 90 years, 3 weeks, and 1 no. day. Wait, how long ago did we leave Earth? Approximately 30 years ago. I woke up too soon. Hello? How do I send a message to Earth? Interstellar messages are sent by laser array. This is an expensive service. Bite me. Happy to help. Planet and Connection? Earth, the Homestead Company. There are 30,826 contacts listed under Homestead Company. I'm emigrating to Homestead 2 and I have an emergency. I have a customer helpline. Sounds about right. Begin message. Hi, uh, I'm Jim Preston. I'm a passenger on the Avalon. I, uh... <laughs> something went wrong with my hibernation pod. I woke up too soon. And I mean, way too soon. Nobody else is awake, and I don't know how to get back to sleep. And the thing is, there's 90 years to go. At this rate, I'm... I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix this. I. Maybe I missed something. I could use a hand. That's all. Thank you. Message sent. 
Outstanding. Message will arrive in 19 years. Wait, what? Earliest reply in 55 years. 55 years? We apologize for the delay. That will be $6,012. Using the wave equation, which wavelength of light, red or blue, is the fastest? The answer is neither. All wavelengths of light, regardless of the color, are the same speed. The speed raises a hard to fathom fact about light. When we see an object in space, we see it as it was, not as it is. That light from the sun you see when you look at it actually left the sun eight minutes ago. When you see the Orion Nebula in the Orion constellation, you see light that left that nebula 1,500 years ago. That nebula could have been swallowed by a black hole today, but we won't see it for another 1,500 years. Up to now, we've discussed only visible light. However, visible light is only a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Light has a much smaller wavelength than blue and longer wavelengths than red. From long to short wavelengths, the spectrum is made up of radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma ray. In this graphic, the size of the wavelength is added to the spectrum at each wavelength. Applying our wave equation, bluer light is higher frequency and shorter wavelength. Redder light is longer wavelength and lower frequency. Looking more closely at non-visible wavelengths, radio is the longest. Radio waves are viewed with the radio telescope like the one pictured. The large size is proportional to the size of the wavelength of the radiation being observed. Radio is used for many devices we regularly use, from cell phones to AM FM radio to garage door openers. Microwaves are most commonly known for heating food. Infrared is also known as heat radiation. Hotter objects are brighter in infrared wavelengths. Night vision goggles are sensitive to IR. The Earth at night radiates brightly in the infrared. UV and X-rays are both short wavelength. Both are harmful to living tissue. Our atmosphere protects us from the harmful wavelengths. This image shows that the atmosphere is opaque, or blocks, all but visible, a small part of the UV, and a portion of the radio wavelengths. Though the atmosphere blocks the harmful radiation, some of it does penetrate to altitudes frequented by airplanes and mountaintops. Each wavelength reveals new pieces of information about an object. Our sun is viewed here in wavelengths indicated in the lower right of the image. But there's a few other useful properties of light. Doppler is one of the most powerful. The Doppler effect is very familiar if you've ever heard a train going by blowing its whistle. So when the train is coming toward you, you hear a high-pitched whistle. And as the train recedes into the distance away from you, you hear the pitch of the whistle get lower and lower in frequency. Just like sound waves, light waves appear to shift in frequency as the object emitting them comes toward or away from you. Light from an object moving toward you will look slightly bluer. Light from an object moving away from you will look slightly redder. When the light waves shift their wavelength toward the blue and toward the red and back toward the blue again as the star wobbles around, the shift is excruciatingly tiny. But it's that difference in the wavelength of the light waves coming at you that is what we measure and it's what allows us to detect planets around other stars. Doppler then can be used to determine the velocity of an object moving toward or away from us. In the next video we'll discuss the next part of light's dual nature, light as a particle.
because I'm Indian, I can't be a Norse god? No, 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 Raj has to be an Indian god. That's racism. I mean, look at Wolowitz. He's not English, but he's dressed like Peter Pan. Sheldon is neither sound nor light, but he's obviously the Doppler effect. Hey, Sheldon, there's something I want to talk to you about before we go to the party. I don't care if anybody gets it. I'm going as the Doppler effect. No, it's not... If that. I have to, I can demonstrate. <laughs> Terrific. Um... Oh, come on, it's gonna be fun, and you all look great. I mean, look at you, Thor, and... and oh, Peter Pan, that's so cute! Actually, Penny, he's wrong. It's Peter Pan! <laughs> I got a handful of pixie dust with your name on it. No, you don't. I hate what Sheldon's supposed to be. Oh, he's the Doppler effect. Yes. It's the apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by relative motion between the source of the wave and the observer. Oh, sure, I see it. Now the Doppler effect. All right, I got a shower. You guys, um, make yourselves comfortable. Okay. See? People get it. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. So what are you supposed to be? Me? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Choo-choo train? Close. <laughs>